Hello everyone, good morning. Um, it's Saturday again and this is the show and tell of my uh, 100 days project. Um, I'm back on envelopes again this week and um, I'm using Edith Holden pages again. Um, I've got a lot of these um, text pages that need using up. Um, like last week, I'm not sure if I said this or not, um, I prepared everything ahead of time on Sunday, which perhaps isn't completely in the um, how it's meant to work. But I knew I, I can't do quite a long craft session every day. So I've got things ready ahead of time on the Sunday. Um, I've worked on these most days, but there have been a couple of days where I've done two um, at a time when I've known that I'm going to be busy the next day. So excuse me, I just need to. Um, anyway, it is what it is. Um, I'm hoping, as I said, to end up with 100 pieces of ephemera over the 100 day period. So we'll see how we go. So these envelopes, I've used my envelope punch board to cut these. But I will, when I do the tutorial, I'll show you how to um, do it without that. So these little envelopes are very simple on the whole. They, I've used these um, labels from is it Junk with Steph, I think. I will double check that and put that below. They're the larger ones, which I really like. Um, and these are just straightforward envelopes with, in this case, fussy cut decoration. So this, these are cut from um, chapter one papers. This one is fussy cut from a flower fairy book. I've just taken the label round the edge there. On the whole though, I haven't decorated the backs of these. This one, um, I turned it this way. So we've got the opening at the top. Um, I've put a little snippet on there. I'll show you how I did that. And a little bit of collage on that one with the fairy. She needs something to stand on. If you don't like fussy cutting, this is another way that you can um, use book images. This is just a torn image um, from a flower fairy book. Nothing on the back of this one. Um, and then I've just zigzagged around the edge of that rather than um, this was too difficult even for me to cut around all of that. I quite enjoy fussy cutting, a lot of people don't. This is another way to do a torn one. So I've torn two corner pieces, um, stitched them down, and then I've also stitched the label in this case. Again, I haven't decorated the back. And then I've gone back to very, very simple fussy cutting. Um, I love my floral fussy cuts. So this one I've not decorated. I think I might put a little label here actually, just to I think that would balance that nicely. Um, and there's a fussy cut on the back. And then this one is a slightly bigger one again. And I have, took me some time, I have gone through all the bits of um, white and taken them all out so that we can see the envelope between all the bits of cut out there. And again, I've put one on the back. So that's my seven envelopes. I think that's uh, 15 to 21 items and if you stay tuned for the next video I'll show you how I put a couple of these together. Thank you.